Hey Kevin, thought I'd do you a video of the trailer because all the lights are on, uh, it's plugged in, you can see everything a little bit easier. And uh, whoever does the pictures can't really get into all the cabinetry and stuff like that. So I'll do a quick little video of the trailer. You can look it over to the wife, let me know what you think if you have any questions. Um, so nice decent sized pass through. It does go direct access underneath the bed. And then again, like I spoke to you while you were here, it does have that powder coated aluminum, which is a little bit tougher. does come with the solid steps by the sounds of it not the biggest deal for you but they are going to last you a little bit longer the fridge outside with the ice maker i'm coming along the side here you do got the speakers outside and then you also do have a tv mount on the outside it is the same tv mount that is inside uh, so if you did want to do a movie night outside or something like that you can actually disconnect the tv from inside and bring it directly out here without having to take it off the the mount itself one big thing to look for um, a lot of the new trailers are starting to do the black tank flush, uh, but it is nice to make sure that it does have that. It's a little bit easier to keep your, your black tank from gathering unwanted things. You do got the, the flipped axles. So on the, the rougher roads, you do have a little bit more ground clearance, which is nice. Second door to the bathroom, just ease of use going in and out. You don't have to walk through the trailer to get to the washroom. If you do have a dog, you got the leash last right there. It does have the fold down rack, extra storage for firewood or anything like that. If you want to throw it on there, generator even. And the one thing I was actually just informed about is all of the Cherokees uh, that are over 21 feet, I believe is what it was. They all come with a backup camera. It might not be something that's needed, but it is there. It comes with it. So heading inside, we will start quickly with the bedroom here. You do got the, the dual entrance. So you both got your own side to the bed. Good storage. Nice little closet. Uh, this I really like because it actually has a door. Um, it's not the biggest shelf, but if you are putting anything in there, you got the door. A lot of them just have like the little lip here. The door is nice because you don't have to worry about uh, while you're traveling, taking things down from there. It does have the barn door system going in and out. And then you got a plug on both sides of the bed and then a little, little nightstand there for you too. And then coming into the living space, you got your entertainment system here. Like I was saying about outside, it is the exact same mounting bracket. So you can actually take that TV outside. Good little storage. And then you do got the fireplace on the bottom. Uh, the fireplace does emit heat. So it is nice. You can actually keep the trailer a little bit warmer based just off of electricity. And uh, if you don't want to heat up the whole trailer, you can kind of just turn this on, heat up this space, keep the bedroom slightly cooler. Coming over to the dinette, it is that big U-shaped dinette, which is really nice. You can fit a lot more people around it more comfortably. These drawers here go all the way to the back. So tons of storage underneath there. In the kitchen, it does give you a couple drawers. Underneath the sink, you do have the, the, the topper for the sink for extra counter space. But you do also get a nice big sink underneath. Counter space is pretty standard in something of this size. You have the folding glass top for the stove and you do have a nice cutting board right here, which is magnetic. So it can travel just like that. Good size cupboard up top. It is nice and deep. Six cubic foot fridge, which is pretty standard. You do have the double over double bunks. So lots of space. They're already curtained, which is nice. This can be used as either clothes for the, the kids in the bunks or you have a, a decent sized pantry over here. And then just coming into the bathroom. So you do have a little, little tub, a little lip to make it a tub, I guess. Pretty normal. It does have a medicine cabinet, which is nice. All your bathroom stuff in there because bathrooms and trailers don't have the, the greatest countertops, but having that a little under the sink storage as well is nice. So if you want to show this to the wife, let me know if you have any questions, any concerns. Um, and I'll be honest, it looks like we may have actually two of these. Um, one here and then one at one of the stores. If one didn't sell yesterday or hasn't sold in the last week or so, it is showing online. But any questions, let me know.